As you can see here, got a few little home items to unbox and set up in my space. If you remember a few videos ago, I also made a desk update where I got a new desk chair and I mentioned wanted to swap the chair that I got for a different color and fabric. So that also arrived over there, which I'll set up in a second after I take care of these. So the first thing I got here is actually a trash can. All these first few items are from Simple Human. They were kind of premium, well thought out, uh, everyday items that are related to like cleaning and trash and stuff like that. So I actually have their big trash can, which is the one that you've probably seen that's like the automatic sensor one. I picked up this one for my little home office upstairs. So let's go set it up real quick. So I decided to pick up this trash can for two reasons. The first one just being purely based on aesthetics. As you can see, pretty much my entire desk setup is sort of a light shade of wood and white. I currently have this very basic sort of mesh black trash can, which definitely sticks out a good amount and I don't love how it looks. And number two, you're definitely gonna relate to this if you're a cat owner. My cat loves knocking over this trash can because it's so light and just messing with everything inside and it wakes me up throughout the night and obviously just gets trashed on my floor. So that's super annoying. This one right here is way, way more sturdy and I'm like 99% sure she won't be able to knock this over. So yeah, that is little home pickup number one. The second thing I got from Simple Human is this sort of combo sensor pump for soap as well as this little sponge holder. I used to have my sponge just like sitting either in the sink, which is kind of gross, or on the countertop, which gets it wet. So I was looking to pick up something that could hold the sponge. And then yeah, this sensor pump is also super nice because you put your hand under it and then it gives you soap, which is super, super convenient. I also really love the finish of it because it matches with my sink's finish pretty much perfectly. So also super happy with this one. The third thing I got from Simple Human is this paper towel holder, and it might look like a standard paper towel holder, but let me set it up and show you some of its hidden features. So as you can see, obviously, pretty attractive paper towel holder. I like how it's in a white finish, and it's super, super solid, like very sturdy. Obviously, it acts as a paper towel holder. You can obviously dispense your paper towels like this. But then the other cool thing that it can do is this little thing right here. You can take the middle of it out, and then as you can see, there's liquid cleaner inside of the tube. And so you can actually use this to spray down your surfaces and then obviously use the paper towel to wipe it afterwards. I think that's super, super cool and very, very convenient because I use a spray bottle right now separately from my paper towels. And so having this built into the paper towel holder, I think is pretty genius. And then the last thing that I came in that I mentioned before is this exchange chair that I got from Hayworth for my desk update, which I talked about earlier. As you can see, different material as well as different color. And I just think it matches way, way better with the rest of my room. The last one I got was sort of like a darker leather color, which I feel like just didn't match at all with anything in the room. And so way happier with this one. And yeah, I feel like it looks way better and it's just as comfortable as the last one. Cause baby like
So I'm in New York for 72 hours with my girlfriend for a little event slash shoot thing I'm doing for Architectural Digest and Nespresso. Probably not going to get too much footage there just because I'm going to be super busy actually getting the footage I need for my content. But I'm also going to have a full day to basically just walk around New York with my girlfriend. She's actually never been before so it's her first time here. We're definitely going to get some good food, check out some cool places, and then yeah, just really explore the city and get the most out of the little time that we have here. That's fake? Wait, no, it's real. This is like spring is finally here after a pretty long winter. I feel like in San Francisco especially we've had really weird weather of it being like rainy and then cold and then it got warm for a little bit and then it got rainy again but it's been really nice the past few days. The temperatures are finally going back up to around like 65 to 70 which is for me the perfect temperature. I've got all the windows open and yeah especially with daylight savings now that the sun sets way later at like around 7 30. It's just got me in some good good happy vibes and something I really like to do in the springtime, in the summertime especially, is refresh the flowers in my apartment pretty frequently. So I just came back from Trader Joe's where I picked up some pretty simple flowers, just two of them this time. And yeah, I'm just gonna do my weekly flower refresh.